Hello people, this is a short video segment that I'm doing in a series of videos that I'm preparing uh, for uh, people who are either new to the 3D experience platform or they uh, know Katia V5 and they are trying to switch or at least use their expertise in the 3D experience uh, uh, platform. Now, uh, keep in mind that Katia V5 or Katia is the workhorse buried for the CAD purposes, buried inside of the 3D, uh, 3D experience. However, it is not Katia V5, but it is Katia V6. So there is a learning curve involved if you are actually switching from Katia V5 uh, to 3D experience or you want to use it simultaneously. Now, I call these things uh, the not rocket science playlist because uh, they're not not anything complicated, it's just that uh, uh, you have to know the ropes. Now, uh, the, reason, uh, the reason I did this, uh, this video is because I realized that uh, there are uh, many problems where you have an assembly which where parts are made. There are many, several parts, and uh, uh, they all have their own uh, place, X, Y, Z plane, and you want to be able to uh, uh, turn these off, for example, these planes uh, off. Now, in uh, in the Katia V5, it's very simple. There is a there is a uh, there is something called uh, search, and you're looking for binocular. So you find it, you select them, and then you hide them. All the planes simultaneously, and you're all done. However, there is no such an icon in the in the 3D experience platform. So. Uh, let me remind you what you do in Katia V5. So there is under edit, uh, under the edit, uh, uh, edit uh, uh, tab here, there is a search. When you click on the search, this thing pops up. And for example, if you want to find all the planes, just type plane here and then do a search and or find and select, and then you turn them off. Now, uh, there is no such, uh, such a thing in a 3D experience. So what we're going to do, we're going to customize, we're going to customize our action bar so that we have access to the counterpart of this thing, this binocular, in the, uh, uh, in the 3D experience. I have four or five slides here, but I'm not going to show you. I will walk you through the process first through my video, and then once I'm done, I'm going to come back and review these uh, remaining four or five slot, uh, uh, slides, okay? So let's get rid of this. These are the ones that I'm not showing you yet. I will come back and do this four of them, okay. So uh, here's the situation. I have three parts here uh, called the base, the block, and the cylinder, and each one of them will have uh, uh, three planes uh, associated with them. So this is an assembly made of three parts, and therefore there are nine planes here that I want to uh, select simultaneously and hide them. Now, of course, uh, one way is to select them one by one and uh, just say uh, hide. But if there is, uh, this is not an efficient way of doing it because if there are many parts, many planes, then this is going to take uh, a lot of time. So uh, I'm going to customize, customize my action bar. This is called action bar, so that I can click on an icon and. Uh, uh, immediately it sells everything, it uh, selects everything, every plane, and uh, we can hide them. Now notice that these are called sections. This, and uh, for example, if you notice, uh, notice that these are these are uh, tabs, and they're called sections. And if I select, for example, assembly, uh, these are the icon associated with the assembly. But this one is also included. Notice that standard has five icons, and because this has a blue uh, triangle on the top left corner, means that it's pinned. Anything that I select, those five icons are going to be in. Now, it's possible, of course, to unpin this thing. You can see that you unpin it, and if you unpin it, of course, uh, this will not appear uh, when you select the other tabs. But I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay, so here's the standard, and I put the cursor there, Right click and uh, uh, right click and say customize mode. Okay, so uh, put the cursor there. Right click customize mode. Okay. 
Now, when you do that, uh, you can select a, a add section. So I want to add a new section to these. Uh, so add a section. Notice it's called section one. This was not here. It's, it's, it's now added. But I don't want to call a section. Or I want to call my, my, my section. So you put the cursor there on that tab, right click, say rename uh, with a rename section uh, from section one I, I want to call it my own section okay and then you say okay notice that now it's called my own section right there my own section okay if you click on it if you click on my own section you don't get anything in there that's the, these five icons are because because of the standard standard was pinned therefore the five icons associated with the with the with the standard appear but if you click on my my own section uh, nothing is there so you put the cursor there you say right click uh, add command add command right there add command so this thing appears notice that the, it has many tabs so if you select the section tab it shows you all the sections that are available here, including the one that I created, my own section, right there. So you select this, and then you say, add commands, add commands. So what happens is that you get these commands that you can add. These are the commands that you can add to that. But let's look for find. Find is the, uh, is the section, is the, uh, uh, is the uh, command that uh, I want to add. Notice that in Katia, in the Katia program, this was called, uh, uh, well, in Katia it says search, okay? In Katia it says search, but uh, anyway, so uh, Katia V5 was saying search. But anyway, uh, put the, put the uh, cursor in this uh, white area type find, lowercase f, i, n, d, and then click on the magnifying glass right there, and it's going to go and find basically that command, okay? Uh, I don't think lowercase or uppercase would have made a difference, but anyway, right, right there, okay? So you select this, and then you say okay. Notice that down here, oh, there we are, find, okay? And you close that. Now when you click on this guy, Oh, uh, nothing happens, and the reason nothing happens is that you have to exit the customized mode right there. See, nothing happens because I'm still in the exit customized mode. And now when I click on it, that guy pops up. And this is that guy. Okay, so for example, if I type here, this is the same thing that you saw in Cathy V5. Uh, if you say plain, uh, plain, I don't know whether it has to be lowercase or uppercase, we'll find out. And this is a find and select. I have a feeling that it has to be uh, uppercase, okay, uppercase P. We're still thinking, it's not responding, so that's okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> so let's make this, oh. Oh, oh, wait a minute, let's try it again. Uh, font type is this, select it, it did select it. See, when I first initially put the little P in there, little P, L-A-N-E, uh, it thought a little bit and couldn't find it, and it changed it itself to big P, L-A-N-E, and then uh, selected them all, because I said search and select, okay, find and select. And now I can say hi, they're all going to be gone. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me uh, let me uh, leave that thing the way it is. So suppose that you decided actually that you didn't want this. Okay, or do make some changes. For so one one thing you can do, you can put the cursor there, right click. Well, first of all, you go to the uh, right click uh, uh, customized mode. No. 
So put the cursor here, right click, remove, remove the section, or you can say reset all customizations. Reset all customizations. If you say reset all customization, whatever you added yourself is going to be disappearing. Say OK. Gone. You see that? No more my own section. And you have to, uh, yeah. So that's uh, pretty much it. So let's go to those slides now. Okay. Uh, you already see that. Okay, so I went to standard. By the way, this is all taken from, uh, uh, this is a short visual video, short, short version of this uh, nice uh, uh, clip that was uh, uh, um, created and uh, posted by uh, RAND3D, which is right here. It's a short version of that. So. So here's the standard. Remember, there was nothing there. And then you say customize mode. OK, so basically now we're going to make uh, changes. And when you do that, we said add a section. I did that. And when I did this, call section one. Now, I also told you about these, the meaning of these blue triangular uh, uh, markers on the top left corner of the tab. It means that they're pinned. If you don't want, you can delete it. Now here, uh, rename it. I renamed that from uh, section one to uh, uh, my added section or my own section. And notice that it appeared in the tree, right? Uh, not the tree, in the action, uh, action bar. It was not here before, now it's there. And then I put the cursor there, right click, add a command. Now you can add a command to any of these tabs, but this is the one particular section that I created, okay? So uh, add a command. And then uh, I, I selected the sections tab, and this is the thing that I added. Add a command there, and uh, I got this dialog box. Then I typed in a find. In other words, look for the find uh, command, okay? And click on the magnifying glass right there, and it found it. These are the things that I find in it. So I selected this and then I said, okay. And do not forget, I basically added that to my uh, uh, new section. Here's my new section. Uh, these, are, these are there because of the pin standard uh, tab. This is the one that I added. And may, don't forget to exit, uh, exit, the com uh, exit the customized mode, okay? Now, once you do that, you click on this. This guy popped up. Now, here's a surprise. Instead of doing all of this, at least you know, learn how to customize these things. Okay, that's, that's very useful. But all I had to do was say Control F. And Control F will bring this thing up. Now remember, if you're going to 3D experience, you should learn these things. Uh, yes, there, these shortcuts work, but these shortcuts, uh, you know, uh, they're coming from Katia. Uh, if you're a Katia user, maybe you knew it. If you're not a Katia user, of course, uh, uh, you're not aware of that. The other thing that I was going to tell you was uh, that uh, uh, there are other ways of doing this, by the way. In the older version of 3D Experience, this, this find was, was there automatically, but uh, not anymore. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and check it out. Here, here it is. Remember, I, I deleted that section which has the find, find uh, icon in it. So if I say Control, Control F, there you are. Uh, I hope that you did not consider this thing as wasting your time, but this is something very useful to learn how to customize these things. One last thing that I want to do is... Uh, Remember, there, it is uh, when you when you say uh, uh, display, put the cursor there, right click display, you go say action pad. Uh, you can add the find whatever you had here. You can drag it there and put it so that it's at your disposal right away. Okay. Good luck.